In this second EndNote demo, I'll be showing you how to retrieve references from PubMed and how to attach PDFs to these references. I've opened a new empty EndNote database, which I've called Demo. As you see, it has no references. And I'm going to do an online search. I click online search PubMed and I'm going to search for the words HIV, dementia, and scale in the title. I press the search button, and we found 15 references, which is a manageable number. Here they are, downloaded from PubMed. I can click author to see them sorted by author in alphabetical order, or click year to see them sorted by year. Clicking year again, will have the effect of sorting them the other way around. These all look interesting. I can check by switching to preview. I can check if they really are interesting. Here's one that is actually particularly interesting to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to PubMed to the place where EndNote found it because EndNote downloads the PubMed URL which allows me to go straight back there. I'm going to go to open URL for this record. It's command G and it's a keystroke you rapidly learn. Here's PubMed and I notice that I have full text access to this article via Science Direct. Here it is. Excellent. I'm going to click PDF here to obtain a PDF and I'm going to save this PDF I'm going to save this PDF into a folder called PDFs for filing I use this as a temporary folder let's go back now to our EndNote library and go to References, File Attachments, Attach File. And I go to my Papers for Filing. At the very top, I find the paper that I've just downloaded from PubMed, from ScienceDirect. Now, a little icon appears to show that there is a paper attached to this EndNote record. Now, if I want to read the paper, all I need to do is go to File Attachments and say Open File. This will open the file. I can read the paper. And when I've finished, I can close it again. So this allows you to attach PDFs to each of the papers. If you find that there are some papers that you've downloaded that are no use to you, you may simply delete them by pressing the delete button, as you would with any other reference. I've deleted a reference here, and it's ended up in the trash. When you finish going through your PubMed search, you can simply go to the References menu and say Empty Trash, and any of the references you downloaded from PubMed that you didn't need will be deleted.